the Scripps Studios. This is 10 News. Um, I think it's important that people know that, uh, that I, I did make mistakes. Just 11 hours from now, Congressman Duncan Hunter will do something he swore would never happen. Good evening, I'm Derek Stahl. And I'm Lindsay Pena. Kimberly and Steve are off. Tomorrow, Hunter will plead guilty to a charge of misusing his own campaign funds. 10 News reporter Anthony Pura is in Alpine tonight, where many of Hunter's constituents are more upset about who will replace him than the admission of guilt. Many in his home district of Alpine here say Duncan Hunter did a lot for this community. He was very well known here. He lived here. He frequented the businesses and many say they would have voted for him again. They say they are more disappointed than shocked about him changing his plea. Duncan Hunter has vehemently denied the felony accusations leveled against him from the start, saying it was politically motivated. I'm not worried. I'm looking forward to it. Right? I mean, this is what uh, the, they could try to have a political agenda as our law enforcement, as a U.S. government. I think we've, we've seen with Strzok and, uh, and what the FBI and the DOJ have been doing. Let's let them expose themselves for what they are. And that's a, a politically motivated group of folks. So, so yeah, so let, let's go to trial. That's what Hunter told 10 News in August 2018, a day after he was indicted. In an interview with another TV station Monday, the congressman changed his story and his tone. On Tuesday, I'm going to change my plea to guilty. Um, I, I, I think it's important not to have a public trial for three reasons, and those three reasons are my kids. Hunter and his wife, Margaret, have been at the center of a campaign finance scandal since February 2018. The couple, accused of misusing nearly $250,000 in campaign funds for extravagant vacations and personal expenses. Margaret Hunter was set to testify against her husband as part of a plea deal she struck with prosecutors in June. I think it's important that people know that, uh, that I, I did make mistakes. Um, I, I did not properly monitor or uh, account for my camp campaign money. At the Casino Inn in Alpine, locals had many thoughts and strong emotions. I'm sad to see it. Like many who spoke to us off camera, Scott Jebrin says he would have supported Hunter in 2020. I was going to vote for him. I would have, mainly because we're veterans. He says his community is blue collar and conservative, which aligned with Hunter's values. He wants their next congressman to represent their interests the same way. He's toast. He's going to be gone. But my concern is the loss of that seat. Hunter is facing jail time, which he is prepared to serve. Whatever my time in custody is, I, I, I will take that hit. Um, my, my only hope is that the judge does not sentence my uh, wife to jail. I, I, I think my kids need a mom in the home. Duncan Hunter is expected in court tomorrow at 10 a.m. for his change of plea hearing. In Alpine, Anthony Pura, 10 News. And today we spoke to the other candidates on both sides of this congressional race. On the Republican side, former city councilman Carl DeMaio said in part, while this must have been a tough decision for him, Congressman Hunter's decision to plead guilty is the right one for his family and his constituents and shows that no one should be above the law, especially members of Congress. And former Congressman Daryl Issa said, quote, I think he's doing the right thing. As he said, he had three reasons to change his plea to guilty, and those are his children. On the Democratic side, uh, Amar Kampanajar also weighed in, saying, right now we need a bipartisan local leader to restore integrity, the public trust, and bring people together to deliver results. This is not the first time a congressman for the 50th has been embroiled in a scandal. Bob Filner represented the 50th before it was redistricted. Filner went on to become San Diego's mayor, resigning over a sexual harassment scandal. Before that, there was Duke Cunningham. His career ended with Cunningham going to prison for taking bribes and tax evasion. Tomorrow's plea hearing is scheduled for 10 a.m. and we'll send out a breaking news alert as soon as it happens. 